Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Now, we are on cowpea. Cowpea. Cowpea is another type of crops that farmers plant on the farm. They belong to the family of pods or pulses. They are legumes crops. The crops that had nitrogen to the soil through the root nodules and the bacteria that live there. Now, copy vaginal onguculata. Vaginal onguculata. That's the scientific name of copy. And the varieties are the rect type, the creepy type, the ife brown, the ife pimpy. The varieties, the types of copies include the erect type, the creepy type, the uh, ife brown, and the uh, ife pimpy. All these varieties are grown in Nigeria. Climatic and soil requirements. The temperature of 27 Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius is required. The rainfall required is about 60 centimeter to 125 centimeter per annum. And it equally requires abundant sunshine and a very rich sandy loamy soil. That is the climatic as well as the soil requirement for cowpea. Methods of proper or sorry, method of propagation. Cowpea is propagated by seeds. We break the pots after we've dried it, bring the seeds out, and the seeds are planted. Planting date is between um, April, May, or precisely April, the early planting, and late planting is in August. Seed rate is 20 to the 5 kilograms per hectare. That means to plant an hectare, you need 20 to 5 kilograms of the copy seeds per hectare. Spacing. Spacing of 25 centimeter by 9 centimeter is required for creeping type, and a space of 10 centimeter by 35 centimeter is required for the erect type. Cultural practices. This includes thinning, supply, weeding, and a fertilizer application. All these have explained earlier in other crops. The mature period is three to four months. That means cowpea spends three to four months on the farmland before they are harvested. Harvesting. Harvesting, the red pulse are harvested by hand picking. We are picked them. Processing. The harvested pulse, which are green or brown at harvest, are dried on our soil. Then shelling. Shelling is the breaking of the pulse to expose and to release the seeds. After the shelling, then you winnow. Winnow is the act of tossing the uh, shelled copy beans or copy seeds. The act of tossing them in the air so that the shaft, which are essentially the coverings, the pot coverings, can be separated from the original required seeds. Then after the winnowing, the storage, the winnowed uh, uh, grains, that's the seeds now, or the bean, copy beans, are now stored in jute bags. Pests of copy include pot borers, pain beetle, leaf uppers. This can affect the leaf, eat the leaves, eat the stem, and the pot, especially the pot borers will perforate and drill hole into the pot, thereby destroying the beans or the seed. The BB2 equally hit the bean in the pot. The disease is include carpal mosaic, which is caused by a virus, bacterial blight caused by bacteria, nematode disease caused by nematode, and fungus caused by fungus. Now that is all about cowpea. Cowpea can be prepared as food, you know, to make akara, bean cake. It can also be prepared as flour when grinded and dried. It can be prepared as flour and it can be used in industries to prepare uh, baby fields, add as additive to baby fields 
or as pure powdery, uh, powdered uh, bean, which could be used for other purposes. The other important crops which you should know include cotton, gooseball species. You know, it's the cotton from where we get the um, cotton lint, which we may we use to make the um, cotton wool and the sanitary pad. It's also used to make threads and clothing material. Cotton belongs to the group of crops known as fiber crops. The botanical name is Gusipion species. Then we have tomato. Tomato is Lycopasicon esculentum. Lycopasicon esculentum. Tomato belongs to the group of crops known as vegetable crops. It's a living vegetable and is used in soup or stew. Uh, tomato is commonly practiced in Nigeria, especially in another part of the country. You have pepper. Pepper, the botanical name is caps, capsicum species. It is partly vegetable and it's partly spices, but you can call it spice crops, which you put to the crops to improve the food, to improve the taste and the fragrance and the aroma of the food. Pepper is majorly cultivated in northern part of the country. Though it can also be grown in any part of the country too. Okra. Okra is Abel Moscus esculentum. Abel Moscus esculentum. It also belongs to vegetable crops, especially the fruit vegetable. Fruit vegetable. Fruit vegetable. And it's grown in any part of the country as well. Orange. Orange is citrus. Botanical name is citrus sinensis. Citrus sinensis. Now, orange have several types or um, you can say varieties of citrus. We have one called sweet orange. That are citrus and it's that's one that is common to us here that we buy, we drink, we suck. We have the, that one, sweet orange, citrus sinensis. Then we have the sour orange, citrus orantium. We have the lime, citrus orantifolium. We have lemon, citrus limon. We have tangerine, citrus reticulum. We have grape. Citrus paradisi. Citrus paradisi. We have one called shadok. Citrus grandis. Citrus grandis. And uh, we have lastly we have the king orange. Citrus nobilis from noble. King orange. Citrus nobilis. Now but we have bananas. Bananas we call Musa species. The banana is a species is grown in Nigeria, especially in the southern part of Nigeria because it loves water. And this of banana, common use of banana, Panama disease, livestock, which was also called Sigatoka disease. Then we have granite, Arashis apogeo. Granite and cowpea belong to the same family. And in a Greek study, we can study either of the two. Once we study copy very well, we don't need to put ourselves the granite. But granite, arashis, ipoju belong to the pulses or copy crops. It also belongs to the oil crop. Because the seeds can be uh, processed into oil, which we call vegetable oil or granite oil. The diseases of the granite when grown include rosette disease, which is called by virus, tica disease, which is called by fungus and aspergillosis, which is caused by fungus. That marks the end of the class. I guess you have good understanding. Uh, some questions may pop up on your screen. Make an effort to answer them. If you find it difficult to answer the questions, then you can refer to the video. God bless you.